So my interest in the sciences peaked in the seventh grade. Um, I was pretty much an average student up until that point. I had a new math teacher join our school in the seventh grade and she demonstrated a confidence in me that I don't think I had in myself and that bolstered my own confidence quite a bit. And ever since my, my grades took off, I took a very deep interest in math and the sciences, found myself competing. Um, at national level competitions for math and science and, and doing a whole bunch of things. I think that, that gave me the boost of confidence that I needed. I find myself being the only woman in a room full of men a lot. And I feel very strongly about changing that. Existing conditions here for women in the sciences can and should evolve over time. What does success look like? And if all you see are men playing the, these particular roles, then in your mind, you have an idea of what success looks like. If all you see are people who are dedicated by being here early morning, leaving late night, then you think that that's what dedication looks like. But dedication could be someone who cannot stop thinking about the problem until it's solved, even when they are at home with their kids, doing something else. Success doesn't always have to look the way it has looked in the past, and I think a lot, there's a lot of unconscious um, biases that prevent people from seeing a different kind of success and a different kind of dedication. I think if we can figure that out, if we can move towards changing that, then I think we will succeed in bringing and keeping more women in the sciences.